hey you guys welcome back to my channel and today i just wanted to do a little chit chat get ready with me so you guys can know you know update on my pregnancy update on the belly bump and all of that it's been it's been super duper long since i've done a video also i kind of like updated makeup routine you know <laughs> just wait on that like ooh, i contour before adding foundation so you might want to see how i get this look like that but yeah i know it's been a way long overdue update so i just wanted to get this video out for you guys before i freaking give birth 35 weeks i am basically 35 weeks i turn 35 weeks tomorrow so so we're we're getting close we're getting close and yeah, let's just get right into the video. So I already did my eyebrows off camera. I just used my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, tinted brow gel. And I also did use my ADH dip brow, which I have been going super, super natural with my brows. And yeah, I think I might do a tutorial on that because I literally just use these two items, but super duper light. I mainly fill in my eyebrows more with the brow gel, which it's tinted. So that's why it fills in like my sparse areas more. I just have not cleaned it up with concealer yet. And that's because I don't clean up my brows anymore. Cause I try to make them look as natural as possible. Also, my ear is red because I just currently got done straightening my hair. I also did cut it. <sighs> and yeah, let's just get started with the face. I already primed my face and I also did hydrate with this Pixie Hydrating Milk Lotion. It's, it's so freaking good. I love all, all their lotions. They're like, I don't know, the best to be honest. And I used to use, um, I used to use Olay. Yeah, I used to use Olay Hydrating Lotion. I really loved it, but then I started using Pixi and I'm like, oh, this is way, way, way better. Like it lasts all day on without makeup and your face looks nice and glowy all day. Also, I do want to say I turn 35 weeks tomorrow. So it's been a while like since i have been on youtube and let me just start off with contouring my face i contour my face now before i apply foundation or anything and that's because i feel like my face looks super super fat and when i contour it just freaking makes me look snatched it just makes me look snatched as fuck and like i don't know maybe it's just me but i've been seeing people contour before the foundation and it really does work like a lot so i don't really take that much to be honest and then you see me take the whole tube all over my face i'm dead anyways so i decided to do like a chit chat get ready with me because it's been a while and I have not been wanting to do no type of makeup. I mean, when I do my makeup, I do do it like this lately, but we're about to do a super duper natural type of makeup for when I'm about to give birth because this ain't gonna cut it. Not at all. All right, so this is, I like to take this Morphe brush. I got this on a set and I like this stippling brush because it's really good to blend out the contour. So first I like to start off with my forehead and I do circular motions really, really lightly and I bring it towards my hairline. But I like to start on my forehead because it like, it get, I grasped all the product that was on my forehead. So when it comes to doing the cheek area, there's still a lot of product on the brush and I don't lose the contour as much as I would on my forehead. 
I'm already getting out of breath. <sighs> I've noticed that when I try to freaking speak too much, I get out of breath. Anyways, let me just add some more right here because as you can see, it's way darker right here. And I'm trying to bring it more. I'm trying to make it even. Anyways, so you see, I had a list. And I was going to do this get ready with me when I was like around 28 weeks. But then... But then I got lazy, to be honest. This just makeup has been so irritating to do on myself and i honestly feel so fucking pretty without it like my skin has not been acting out i mean recently you know because i've been stressing the fuck out my lord jesus my baby shower got canceled due to the freaking virus mm, that's so freaking great huh which sucks so bad like so bad because I literally, I planned it so many months ahead. Like in January, that's when I bought everything for my freaking baby shower. And all just to be canceled. Like, wow. <laughs> but I bet you if I would have left that shit last minute, mm, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be canceled. And then I'd be having a whole whole ass like heart attack and trying to get everything done. <sighs> it just sucks to be honest. So now, so now we are currently buying everything ourselves. I mean, which is good because you can choose everything you want versus people giving you like, you know, unnecessary gifts. But, I mean, they try to give you gifts, so that's what counts. Anyways, this is not supposed to be that blended because I'm going to add my foundation. And it's supposed to look, you're supposed to see it through the foundation, FYI. Just in case you're like, girl, you still need to blend more. Just watch. Just keep on watching. My nose looks snatched, to be honest. Ooh. So now I like to take my foundation. This is a stick foundation from Wet n Wild. I have been currently using this one. It's really, really, really good. Um, it's like medium to full coverage. So what I like to do is just take it underneath. And I also do take it right here. Not underneath my eye because I just don't want that much buildup underneath my eye. I notice this foundation does crease a tiny bit like it makes my under eye crease a little bit more because it is kind of kind of heavy but not really i don't know how to explain that <sighs> anyways this is where i like to take my foundation as you can see like you know it's about to be nice and blended right there This is how I basically, and right here. I gotta make sure I bring it down because I brought the little leftover on my brush just a tiny bit to contour my double chin and everything. Anyways, I am in, this, in the shade Soft Beige. And then what I like to do is like, I like to take my sponge and dab it on top. Let me just wet it real quick. Now that I got it damp, this is how I basically like to apply the foundation. I literally just tap it. I don't try to drag or anything just because I want to make sure the freaking, the contour stays in its place. And I do take it over the contour, but I just make sure I take the leftover on the Beauty Blender to apply it on top. As you can see, you can still see the contour 
but it's not as harsh and it's like i don't know i don't have to explain y'all y'all can see that going on and yeah i'm gonna just do the rest of my face just like this and i'll be right back all right <clears throat> all right as you can see i already applied the foundation and everything on top you can still see my contour like ooh, look at that so basically you know when you add powder contour it's super duper duper light hand because you already got your whole face matched wait I also did apply some on my eyes and that's because you will see my eyeshadow it's super duper natural so now I'm just gonna take my concealer this is from elf now this is full coverage full coverage and five dollars also anyway I take super duper little like literally this is what I take I don't go back in the tube i literally just take this right here oops i freaking put it crooked <clears throat> this is just great and literally i just dab everything from here and i don't go back i don't just because i don't really like to use when it comes to like full coverage concealers this is just like my Tarte Shape Tape, which I still have and I do not use at all. Which I think I'm going to start using again. Just to, you know, re-experience my, my Shape Tape. Because that's my favorite, 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 favorite concealer. And that's like, like my number one, I recommend. Anyways, look how freaking brightening this is and i do take it on my eyes also what i do recommend is to not let it sit for too long because i do find it to be a little bit harder to blend when you have let it sit too long for too long I'm just gonna set my I'm just gonna set my face with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This has been like my go-to for such a long time. I also set my eyelids because you guys will see later what I do with my eyes. Basically with my sponge, I like to set like where my foundation is at. Mm. instead of having it everywhere on my face but i do set my contour by the way because i do have foundation on top of that but i feel like when i press it down it makes my foundation move less so that's why i do set my face like that and then i go with the regular powder brush and i just dab it on top of my contour just so i don't move it all right so now to bring back a little bit of color you know just following my contour i like to take my butter bronzer and this is in the shade light bronze it's super duper light so it's really not heavy at all <clears throat> and i just like to dab it on top nice and lightly As y'all can see, look at that. It's already like look, look at the freaking Ooh. I'm looking skinny as hell. Pregnant who? Not me. You can't tell from my teachers up. I mean you can't really tell from my stomach either. I just look kind of fat. Let me move this. Let me put the camera lower. I don't know if y'all can tell. This is my 
I am wearing shorts, by the way. This is my like little belly. Let me move my chair. My 35 belly. My, yeah, 35 weeks belly, which I am in my eight months stage. I kind of look fat like that, but you know, see my best. I just look kind of chunky, but yeah. Anyways, you know, let's just talk about my pregnancy so far. If you didn't know, I am having a girl. Oh, I'm honestly scared for my life, to be honest. Be to be honest, because girls are just complicated no matter what. And I'm not ready for that, to, to be honest. I'm kind of more scared, like, the future-wise versus newborns. Oh, my goodness. It's so freaking cute. I'm excited, to be honest, to dress her up and, you know, do all the little cute things you do with your little dolls. But according to future and life, I am kind of scared, to be honest. I kind of don't want to fail in that situation. I'm sorry, I think I spoke too low. But anyways, this pregnancy has been so far pretty good. I mean, I kind of am in a diet. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways. And only thing I drink is water and I drink um, grape juice because that helps me go to the bathroom a lot. And basically I sometimes drink Sprite and um, ginger ale, but those are the only two like bubbly items I drink. That's like if I'm like at a restaurant or something and they don't have anything to drink, I'll drink like, like you know I want a flavored drink. I'll drink Sprite, and if they don't have Sprite or ginger ale or anything similar to that, I drink water. And that's just because everything else tastes super nasty. Everything else just makes me feel like complete crap. Because if you didn't know, I got my gallbladder removed right after I had my son. And basically, anything that you eat with fat, more than like six grams of fat it hits you hard it makes my stomach hurt it makes me go to the bathroom number two it freaking makes me super duper nauseous and i hate feeling like that and basically this pregnancy with that combined with pregnancy it was just like in the first and the beginning it was like shit it was straight up i freaking hated it like hated it so bad. It made me feel so, so, so bad. And that's why I basically eat good food <laughs> because of that. If it wasn't for that, I'd be still eating hella junk food. I'll be eating hella fast food. I'd be eating basically how I was living before I got pregnant. Cause I was just eating a bunch of chucherias, like no healthy shit, no home cooked home cooked food like that'd be my last option i'd prefer eating fast food over home food and now i just i prefer i prefer home food versus fast food which to be honest thank god it's like that because i like to take this little more smaller brush just to do my nose with this same bronzer you know just to apply a little bit of color back in there <clears throat> but yeah I eat way better now in life which I am really really happy about which I really do think I'm gonna keep eating like this after i give birth because i mean i don't know 
I see no point in why I would change my diet after this when it's been a pretty long time, you know, eating like this, like nice and healthy. And I don't really crave fast food at all. It's random when I do. And if I do crave fast food, it's like chicken, like chicken tenders and stuff like that. Or like I crave pizza. Pizza has always been my favorite thing. And it's the one that makes me feel like the most shitty of myself, like literally, because it's so much cheese. <sighs> That's something like dairy. If it's not 1% milk, then everything hits me bad, like bad. Dairy is super, super bad for me. I'm just taking my powder brush and I am just lightly dabbing on top of my bronzer anyways after I change my the way I eat I've been living so happy no problems like my throwing up has stopped it completely stopped I don't get nauseous obviously I get nauseous if I eat something I'm not supposed to like if I eat pizza I feel like shit, but you know, it's like a once in a while type of thing versus back then it'd be like every day type of thing. So, so basically that's super duper good for me. Um, this is um, Juvia's Place blush and I don't know the name, so I'll just leave it linked down below. <clears throat> Look at my skin. It's looking bomb. And I literally went super duper light with my bronzer, to be honest. And it just looks so freaking sharp. And I haven't baked or anything. It's just honestly, I recommend trying out contouring before your um foundation i do bake a tiny bit just to make it a little bit more sharper as you can see it's just really really lightly nothing serious anyways this little girl moves so much like so much it's ridiculous how much she moves compared to my son which i think that's why i'm kind of scared because does that mean she gonna be a little wild probably too wild because my son did not move at all and my son was such a calm baby like so freaking calm if i had more babies like if i if my baby come out like him i'd have a thousand babies just because no me dio problemas. Like he was not a problem at all. Anyways, I like to take my Morphe, my Morphe 9A palette and I literally just, it's been so long. I am so sorry, I'm fucking up. I am taking Splendy and myself mixed together and I'm just applying this on my eye. Literally nothing special. A little smoky brown eye this is what I've been doing and it's my favorite thing to do for eyeshadow like it's just me like it just makes my whole look come together oh anyways yeah she moves so much that she gives problems when it comes to like ultrasounds like we can never freaking get a good picture like it's like, girl, just stay calm so I can get a cute picture of you. I will also insert pictures of the ultrasounds here. Also a video of her kicking and everything. I tend to grab a lot of videos, but every time I record, it's like, I don't know. It's like, oh yeah, I'm such a calm baby. I don't want to move at all. And I stopped recording and then she freaking kicks like, oh, so hard. I'm just like, 
Mm. Like, ew, it's annoying. Anyways, I really don't want this to be that long, but if this video is long, I am so sorry. It's been a while and there's just a lot to talk about. Man, I was recording everything for my baby shower, you know, I was like, I had my stuff. I was going to show you guys and like, I was going to decorate it and all the food we were going to have and it was going to be so cute. Freaking shit. <clears throat> Freaking, freaking, freaking virus. So annoying. The most annoying thing on earth. Not only that, like, there's no visitors allowed anymore, by the way. Only, like, you know, the parent or whatever. And if it's not the parent, I mean, obviously, your support system. Like, you know, say you a single mom and only... You got your mom to be there to help you out and everything like that but yeah and honestly i am scared for my son because my son is so freaking attached to me and my husband and he freaking like he cries for us and I know he's gonna be a little pain in the butt when I leave him with my dad because I mean I can try and leave him with his grandma like his daddy side but he gonna cry there too so there's no point in like you know if I'm home I just I leave him with my dad just because it'd be easier than to have to stop by on the way to his little grandma's house and all of that and have like get his little mochila i am gonna pack a mochila just in case my dad needs help with him i mean i kind of don't think so he's really like atento with him like he gives him so much food which that's something i don't have to worry about and the diaper part he kind of you know slacks a little bit on that but i can just call him i can just be calling him and all of that i'm just applying the same colors underneath in my lower lash line just bringing it down i am trying to find well, I am going to find, I know for sure, how to freaking look not dead. I'm not dead, not dead with makeup and with just a tiny bit of makeup, you know, like, oh, damn, that's your skin. You're not wearing foundation. That type of makeup look for when I'm trying to freaking give birth because... I'm not trying to look dead. I'm trying to look kind of cute. That's why I cut my hair because it's super duper easy to freaking straighten. And honestly, babies, like newborns, they just tend to pull on your hair a lot if you have it down and all of that. Cause they're like, you know, they're starting to wear with their little hands, stretch out and everything. And like, I got it like not got not grab things, but it's just they just learn how to move their hands. And sometimes they just end up pulling on your hair, so yeah. Oh, anyways, I forgot to mention that my daughter, I forgot how many I think it was like 18 weeks. Um they found a cyst in her brain, but then by when I was like 28, I believe. It went away. It wasn't something serious, but, you know, they did worry me about it. Because, you know, the doctor said it, you know, like, if it was something normal and everything. But everyone's just like, what? What's on her brain? And you over here acting like it's nothing? Like, you sure you want me to be okay with it? But it wasn't nothing. It went away which is super duper good and after that everything seems to be normal where the fuck 
is my brush. Okay. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this black right here just to make my eye a little bit darker. Just a tiny bit towards my outer edge because I don't know, I just like it. It just makes my eye look chiquitito versus big. Also, I do want to mention that I am currently making the garage into my room, which is going to be super duper way bigger. I have been recording kind of some clips of us emptying it out, but it's just like, damn, y'all should have seen how that garage was filled with like all our shit. It's like a storage room for us. So I took a lot of things out, donated so many things. And yeah, we're gonna, I don't know when we gonna start insulating stuff, but first we're gonna put the air vent thing and hope, hopefully that is done before, you know, I'm at the, I'm at the hospital giving birth, but if not, I'll just, you know, in my room while, like, you know, I'll have her in my room while we finish the garage. It's just my dad. It's just my dad. I told him a long time ago, since December, like, yo, I'm just gonna apply eyeliner. I was like, yo, let's get to it. Help me clean, help me take out everything. And he's over here. We got time, we got time, we got time. <sighs> Men really don't know nothing. They really don't. And now he sees like, oh shit, we ain't got time. I'm like, yeah, we don't have time. And you're over here, like, cause a bunch of, like a bunch of, it was like a bunch of big items, which are his like tools wise. And we have nowhere to put that, just him. Like, you know, he has to find a place to put everything. <clears throat> but yeah, that was that with him. <clears throat> All right, so I put in my lipstick. This is from Morphe and the shade Taunt. And I just have to do my lashes, basically. But let me put on my highlight. <clears throat> oh, about forgot my freaking spray. <clears throat> I just sprayed my face, as you can see. Anyways, I'm gonna try out these lashes. They're kind of cute. So we gonna see how they look. Lately I've been using really, really natural lashes just because I haven't been wanting to be that glam, to be honest. Anyways, I just wanna tell you guys about my cravings. Um, I basically just crave so many fruits. Like I crave so many fruits. At first I was craving hella bananas but now I just eat a bunch of strawberries, I eat a bunch of plums, I eat mango, I eat berries, like I love blueberries, I love cherries, all of that. And I just recently had um, watermelon yesterday and that's not sweet at all and I'm just like, fuck. But since I wanted it so bad, you know, we cut it and it wasn't sweet. And I freaking, ya me estoy acabando yo todo. All right, so I'm just gonna apply these lashes on. They look all right, all right. I also am gonna be doing a like a what's in my hospital bag video and like her diaper bag and everything. Shit, it's all flipped, it's all bubbly. And all of that. I don't know about the labor and delivery cause I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe not, maybe. I just I'm like, I feel like I'll do like just a little bit and then I'll stop as soon as my pain starts getting really, really bad. I'm be like, oh, hell no. And all of that. So yeah, I have not done my makeup in such a long time now. I'm like, damn, I 
look cute. I feel like a brand new bitch, to be honest. I'm like, damn, this ain't even me. To be honest, I have no idea how my son's gonna react when I bring that baby home. Mainly since he's not gonna be allowed, don't mind my eyelash. Mainly since he's not gonna be allowed to, you know, go to the hospital and all of that. And we've never, I've never been apart from him. Basically everything I've been buying, like girl-wise, you know, for, for La Nina, he, he's like, oh, bebe, Annette. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's what we're planning to name her the name Annette you know all A's I'm A my husband's the letter A and my son's name starts with an A so that's what we have right now I say right now because last minute my husband changed his you know his mind about my son's name so and it was on the last couple weeks too. So that's why I say for now. All right, so this is the final book. This is what, you know, my makeup is looking like. Like, look how freaking... Like, I look skinnier, huh? Just ignore the fat that comes out through here. That was because my bra is already getting too tight. I need me a new bra. But I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and you know, just gotta see how I do my makeup and just basically a little update on my pregnancy and all of that. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.